So the topic for today's video is uh, quadratic inequalities. For our objective, I can graph a quadratic inequality. So uh, to start off, quadratic inequalities are either going to be graphed with a dotted line or a solid line. And a, do a graph with a dotted line is going to be determined if the inequality symbol is greater than or less than, no equal, just strictly greater than or less than. And the solid line is greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. And the reason that the greater than or equal to has solid line, it means that the, the points on the parabola are solutions to the inequality. So you can pick any point on the parabola and it will satisfy the inequality. If it's a dotted line, then it means that those points on the graph will not satisfy the inequality. Our steps to graphing inequalities. First one, plot our points and sketch our graph just like we would our normal uh, quadratic equation or quadratic formula in standard form. You know, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And just remember to use the dotted or solid line depending on which inequality symbols we have. Second, you'll notice that the parabola we draw separates our coordinate plane into two regions. And with inequalities, you need to choose a point that is not on your parabola, plug it into your inequality, and if that point satisfies the inequality, it's a solution. And so you would shade the region that that point is in. If that point does not satisfy the inequality, then you shade the opposite region. So to start off, we have y is greater than or equal to 3x squared plus 2x. And so it's we have a greater than or equal to, so it's going to be a solid line. And to start off, just like when we had our quadratic equations in standard form, we got to find our axis of symmetry. So that's going to be located x equals negative 2 over 2. 2 times 3 equals negative 2 over 6. Simplifies down to negative 1 third. Now to find our y coordinate, we plug that in to our equation. So 3 times negative 1 third squared plus 2 times negative one third. So that'll be three. And again, when we square fractions, we square the top and the bottom. So negative one squared is just one. Three squared is nine. And two times negative one third is gonna give us a negative two thirds. Three times one ninth is three ninths minus two-thirds, three-ninths simplifies down to one-third minus two-thirds, and our y-coordinate is going to turn out to be negative one-third. So our vertex is going to be at negative one-third, negative one-third. So we can plot that point, have our axis symmetry drawn here, Negative one third, negative one third. If you want, we can go ahead and make a table. Do that down here. Our x and y. So negative one third, negative one third. Now we can see we don't have a c term in this equation. So our c is just 0, so our y-intercept is going to be at point zero zero. Plot that, and flip it over our axis of symmetry, and our point is going to be at negative 2 thirds and 0. So now we need to pick one more point to uh, plug into our equation, get our y-value. So negative two thirds zero, and I'm gonna pick one, x equals one, so y equals three times one squared plus two times one. 
that is going to equal 3 plus 2, so that equal to 5, so 1, 5 is a point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and again flip that over our um, over our axis of symmetry and that will put us at the point negative 2, 5, so we can go ahead and plot that, and again we have a greater than or equal to or greater than or equal to sign so this is a solid line we draw our parabola okay now we need to pick a point to test okay and the point that I'm gonna choose to use as my test point is point zero two so we plug in 0 for x and 2 for y in our inequality and see if this point satisfies the inequality. So 2 greater than 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0. This is 0 squared. So 2 greater than 0 plus 0. So 2 greater than or equal to 0. And since that is a true statement we shade the region that that point is in so 0 2 is inside our graph so we would go ahead and shade this area here okay our next example is y less than or equal to negative x squared plus 3x minus 1. So again, we'll start off by finding our axis of symmetry. So x equals negative b, so negative 3 over 2 times a, negative 1. So we get negative 3 over negative 2. Two negatives make it positive, so our x is going to equal three halves. To find our y for that we plug three halves in for x so we get y equals to negative three halves squared plus three times three halves minus one so three halves squared square the top square the bottom we get nine fourths and the negative out front so negative nine fourths 3 times 3 halves is 9 halves then minus 1 we want to get common denominators so we have negative 9 fourths plus 18 fourths then minus 4 fourths and our y coordinate comes out to be And this comes out to be 5 fourths, which equals 1.25. So our vertex is at 3 halves and 1.25. So we can go ahead and plot that on our graph. So now we can find our y-intercept, and our y-intercept is our c, so that's going to be found at 0, negative 1. Go ahead and plot that point, and again flip this over the x-axis, and that's going to be at, or the axis of symmetry, excuse me, will be at 3, negative 1. So again, make our table, x, y. So we get 3 halves, or 1.5, 1.25, 0, negative 1, 3, negative 1. And we need to find one more point. And so if I choose x equal 1, and then 
y equal to negative 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 1. So 1 squared is 1, negative, plus 3, minus 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2, minus 1 is 1. So 0.11, plot that there. And then also flip that across the axis of symmetry. It's going to be at the point 2, 1. And this is just strictly less than, so this is going to be a dotted line. Our parabola is. Okay. Now we need to pick a point to test. And although it may not seem so, the point zero zero is not on our parabola little tight quarters here so I'm going to use that as my testing point so we have 0 less than negative 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 1 0 less than um, 0 squared is 0 3 times 0 is 0 so we have 0 less than negative 1 that is not true so we shade the region inside the parabola. Okay, our last example. Y is less than or equal to x squared minus 3x. So again, find that axis of symmetry right away. X is equal to negative b. So the negative or the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3 over 2 times 1. If we don't have anything listed, our a is 1. So our x is going to equal 3 halves. And to find our y, plug 3 halves in for x. So y equals 3 halves squared minus 3 times 3 halves minus 3 y equals 9 over 4 minus 9 halves minus 3 again we need to get common denominators so 9 fourths minus 18 fourths minus 12 fourths and then that will come out to be negative 21 over 4, which is equal to negative 5.25. So our vertex is at 3 halves, or 1.5, negative 5.25. So we can go ahead and plot that here. And get 1 half, and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just below 5. 5.25 make our table x and y 1.5 negative 5.25 our y intercept is at negative 3 so x coordinate is 0 negative 3 1, 2, 3 flip it over our axis of symmetry that point is at 3, negative 3. Need to pick one more point. Plug in for x. I'm going to use negative 1. So, negative 1 squared minus 3 times negative 1 minus 3. Negative 1 squared is 1. We have a minus 3, it's a plus a negative. So negative 3 times negative 1 turns to be positive 3. Minus 3, we're left with positive 1. So negative 1, 1. And then again, flip it over that axis of symmetry. 
that'll be the point four one. So now we can draw our graph. It's an x or our our inequality is greater is less than or equal to, so it's a solid line. Go ahead and graph that parabola. Okay. And again, I'm going to pick the point 0, 0 for my test point. So 0 less than or equal to 0 squared minus 3 times 0 minus 3. 0 less than or equal to 0 squared is 0. 3 times 0 is 0. So 0 less than or equal to negative 3. That is not true. So we shade the region opposite of our point. So we go ahead and shade the region outside our parabola. Okay. So to review, dotted lines have the inequality symbols greater than or less than. Solid lines have the inequality symbol greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Um, and when we are sketching these graphs, what we do first is sketch our graph. Be aware of whether you're using dotted or solid lines. Test that point that's not on the graph. If that point is a solution to the inequality, then you shade the region the point is in. Otherwise, you shade the point opposite of that or the region opposite of that point. Sure, go online, do your reflection, get the bonus point, ask any questions you might have, and we'll see you tomorrow.